everybody, it's Tamika, and we are back with part four of the Loaded Happy Mail Rack Embellishment Envelope. Um, so if you haven't checked out part one, we made these beautiful toppers, um, treat bag toppers already complete so that the recipient can just plop it onto a bag, which is included in the package that we put together using the Prima Havana paper collection. Part two were these dimensional um, shabby glittery uh, butterflies really pretty using painted vellum that's number two and then the last part part three we made these tiny um, envelopes that you can use as an embellishment and put that all together just like so and I just been putting labels on at the end of you know what it is so really cute so part three and a half <laughs> I made off camera they're really simple all I did was make some bowls and package them up. So um, just use your bow die and put the bowls together. So I made three in the Havana paper and three in this uh, shimmery cardstock that I got from Hobby Lobby. Really sturdy, thick, um, copper colored cardstock glitter paper. And I just packaged them up using more bowls at the top. So. That's simple to put together. Like you didn't, you just put the bowls together. So I felt like it was okay to do that off camera. So that was three and a half. So now we're just going to package it all up and finish this series out. And I'm using the 12 by 12 this time uh, because it's, it's the only way that I could make the envelope to fit everything. So still Prima Havana. And I'm just going to use this sheet because it's, pretty busy and I don't have to do a lot to decorate it this is going to be the quickest loaded envelope um, that you've ever seen no measuring required so I am going to take my paper and then you know there's a little bar over here we're going to need that this little uh, when you separate it off the book so all you're going to do is fold your paper over to meet that bar to cover that up just right there no more no less and then just press it down and I'm just going to use my bone folder to give it a crisp edge on both sides so that's all we did we just met this bottom sheet to meet exactly to the end of that bar there that little space that we all cut off but we can use it because it gives us an extra half inch to use so I'm just going to put some double-sided tape I forgot this I forgot this tape doesn't tear I have to cut it I'm gonna use some double-sided tape to adhere this together and meet it back just like so so now you have one long piece here just like that so what I'm going to do is use my decorative scissors. These are Fiskars, or you can use a punch, and I'm just going to decorate this edge. Give it a little pizzazz. See how much I cut off? Just a little. So I can have that little rugged edge right there. And then I'm going to take this glitter paper. You can also use washi tape if you'd like. I am out of my copper colored washi tape so I'm just going to cut off a strip of this glitter paper in a half inch by 12 and just to give this a little bit of a decorative edge I'm going to put this right under where I put the little scissors or made the little decorative cut. to add my strip and I'm going to cut off the excess really cute okay so I'm going to take my biggest piece which happens to be the bag topper <clears throat> and I'm going to put this in there it's a it's a barely fit like it is all that can fit in this 
nothing wider. I'm going to ease that down in there as far as it will go up into the topper part. I'm trying to be gentle here. Just let gravity do some work. Gravity! <laughs> I love this song. Alright, so that's that. I want a little bit to peek out. Just a smidge. Kind of overhang the top. Alright, and I'm going to fill where I am, where I stop it. It's about right there. And I'm going to fold it over and crease it. Okay, now for this part, see I know that I don't want it to extend, so I'm going to cut it. So you can look on the side, you see where it kind of stops at, so I'm going to stop it just shy of that. And I'm going to use my decorative scissors. I'm just going to give myself a little extra room to play with. I can always cut more, but if you cut too much, you pretty much screw that up. So don't. And I'm going to add some double-sided tape to that. Oh, I shouldn't have did that until I figure out where I want it. So rewind that. I just want to make sure that first it's low enough. And it doesn't look like it is after I put everything in here. Okay. It's not low enough, so I'm just going to cut it right about here. And now I'm going to flip it over and add my little strip here. You can just use the leftover piece that we cut from the 12 by 12. It should fit perfectly. A little snip off. Okay. I can go there. Open up this little pouch. And put in my goodies. All right, I got all my little loaded goodies in here. Of course, you want to push them down in there really well, or you can mix and match and put, you know, what these in the back and these in the front. But that's how it would look, really easy. And then we're just going to I'm gonna take this out. Just want to make sure that it fits. And I'm going to add a little glue down this, <clears throat> excuse me, down the seam of this bottom half piece. Just down the seam and then close it up. That way this can still remain open to do all the room that you you know that you need and it still attaches together. And I'm just gonna add some little I'm just gonna add some lace to the front, just a little bit. It's a little row of lace. Okay. I'm gonna use my ATG gun. Adhere this. And then I'm going to add a little bitty, a little rosette to the front here. Just one of these little tiny rosettes. Clean up the edges. A quick way to clean up these edges is to grab your heat gun, your heat tool and kind of burn that mesh netting goes really fast so it's a little tip i'm going to take this leftover lace i'm just going to add a little tail to this rosette i'm going to add some glue add this to the back i'm going to cut off another piece and then add it again and then off the last piece and add it to the middle. <clears throat> and then I'm going to add a little glue around the edges. Sorry, my voice is playing games. 
All right. That's there. Right there. Simple. And then I'm going to cut off the extra. Just a little decoration for the bottom. All right. I'm going to add these pieces back. And there we have it. You just play around with the placement of where you want things and you're done so the only thing left that i'm going to do is put this in a clear bag and add some fun shred it to the packaging and there we go so all i have to do is stick it in a padded envelope and mail it off i do um need to create a quick little card which i'll just make um a really easy card to go along with it but we're finished so hopefully you guys had some ideas and uh, thought this was quick and easy and something that you can replicate replicate quite quickly it's time for me to go and drink the rest of my coffee I will talk to you guys later thank you guys so much for watching bye